alone, but you change your mind. As beings who inhabit space, it is our duty to discover and to find our place in it. And it's be up, range up. Don't worry, we'll be treating you as a prisoner no differently than we would on Earth. Just kill me. Can't stand to live in dishonor? If that's the case, and let's dump him out into space and be done with it. You guys can't be serious. That's terrible. They're both mem former members of the Titans. <clears throat> that's kind of how they think that that was their memo. He's right. We saved his life. We're only seeing the surface of killing someone who wants to end their life is also a form of kind. Do what you want with me. I was led by Sabine to do his bidding, and now look at me. This is not where I belong. I belong on my commander's side. The man is not the full friendly you once knew. Damn it, Banneker Lynx! You're the cause of all this! No, you're wrong. Full frontal asked for broke Shara's spell of his own volition. That's absurd. You have to find your way, too, one day. You have to live your life as you want, not the way others want you. Hmm. You're not the boss of me. You're not my real dad. No, it's not as easy as it sounds. Bring away... Bring every, everything away that you've built thus far. You don't have to rush it. You have time. You tell me your name... Pretty Marcinus. Not sure why, but I feel like I should listen. I should listen to you. That should, that should be I listen. Yes, we listen. I to you as opposed to I listen. Oh, real? Oh, that's really good to hear. It's because I've been in your place before. If he also could have lived his life more freely, maybe things could have been different. Sabine. Dreamed of retaining his own ideals that led him to Gamblis and ultimately this conclusion. Everything was a result of his choices, all there is to it. The only thing I will say is that the aristocratism, aristocratism that he's so long for was opposed to opposed by both myself and Bera. We can make it to Iskandar and save the Earth? I wonder what awaits us after that. Who knows? I guess humans will do what they have always done eat, sleep, spend time with their loved ones, and live on. I call you seeing the same thing after the Jupiter War as well. The fact that I that that's all I can think to say must mean I'm just a human too. I'm the same way. But that it But that just means that there's still something we can accomplish. In the end, it is our destiny to live in space. That's why we have to think long and hard about what we have to do to make that work. Hope we can find that on this journey. After this next warp, we will have reached the sector that could be called the entrance to the Salazar system. Isn't that where Iskandar is? Yes, that's also likely to be where the core of Gamla's forces are located, based on what we've seen so far. Hey, Mori, will Eurisha still not say anything about that? They'll tell us where to set course for, but no nothing more than that. Does Iskandar's test for us? We also have a report from Nandisco squad. They have also encountered the invaders. Judging by Gamla's reaction, these type are not these are not the same type as the ones inhabiting the large Magellanic cloud. Does this mean the, the invaders that appeared in the Universal Cent Dimension Solar System came after us? Given the fact that two separate groups of Earth Fleet Tank Two have been attacked by them, even in the sorry, wrong voice for Sonata. Hmm. Given the fact that two separate groups of Earth Fleet Tank Two have been attacked by them, even the fastest of space, I'd say that's a likely guess. Nondisco Squad has encountered a pursuing squadron of Mr. X. Exiv has successfully eliminated them. They've also defeated one of Mycenae's generals who was based to them. That's great news. However, Nami Chidori has, again, been kidnapped by Leonard Teslarosa. Did he, does he really have the technology to jump to the large Magellanic Cloud like that? That was likely Embryo. 
Nada, prepare the boson transmitter at once. Roger. So, what's next? Now that we've destroyed many of the forces that have been pursuing us and we are nearing Gamala's forces, reconvene with the rest of Earth Fleet Tenku and combine our forces before heading to Isn. Understood. However, we've come, a lo we've come a long way now. However, our most difficult obstacles still lie ahead. We must overcome them and keep moving forward. The hopes and dreams of three dimensions lie in the weight of our return. We cannot let them down. And we've got the fleet back! Maito has upgraded once again. All right, dialogue cutscene. What's wrong? What's wrong, Akira? Nelda said she was going to return to Gamalus and report to that Gore fellow. But he's still out there, report or report that Gore fellow. He's still out there fighting on the front lines. I hope Melda is okay. I'm just an AI, so I can't really provide any consolation. However, I do believe that Melda is perfectly safe. Thank you, Nine. I can provide you with 12 different data points to show how I came to that conclusion. I'd like to hear them. Um, no, that's alright, thanks. Just hear you say that as he's my worry. We'll have to defeat that vile man if we want to have a chance at reuniting with Melda. I suppose you're right. Strange, when we first met, I couldn't stand the fact that Melda even existed. My hatred for Gamblas has not faded, but I afford a bond with Melda. Perhaps the type of mutual understanding that Setsuna was talking about. Two different horrors I can get. And then the Garden Drive Core. Um, that's a big upgrade. It's also a big upgrade. Um, the regular. Let's buy the regular horror. Let's actually use upgrade to get that. Ooh. Skill program. Uh, that's why you support attack, but that's probably something you need to have. Alright, well, we could do an upgrade. Um. Shinji's a like his range stat is a shockingly good sniper. Um, best range stats we've got in the game. Um, Ari, it seems he's kind of taking his place as sniper. Never stat up to take his place. Still a little behind, but not by too. Uh, customization. You know what? Got you back.
let's upgrade some of the um, robots from Special evade, huh? Okay. Let's upgrade the Villicus some. I'm gonna start trying to use the Villicus, I think. Sound resistance adventures with a with uh rid of Haro. I'm gonna keep the Lickety doll, because but that's because the focus boost is important, and also from a narrative standpoint. in that regard. Not useful, but it, it is narr it fits narratively. Hang that. Money, XP, and tech points. What I need actually now is the cash. Oh, that's overall money and tech points. That's too and perfect. Yeah, keep those. That, that's a, just a solid loadout. Orders, patrol. Oh, hey! Ray will finally get the ace! up. We get what I've been waiting for for a very, very long time. Ray's Proud Ace Interview Session. Congratulations on becoming an ace pilot, Ray. I'm sure you worked very hard to get to this point. Congratulations. Becoming an ace is a very prestigious accomplishment for most pilots, so I'm just celebrating your work. I'm sorry, I'm not sure what I really get when you say accomplishment celebrating. No big deal. Those are things that can be learned. You're right. You learn new things all the time, and you're an android. And so can I. I still have much to learn myself, so I can't claim to teach anything, but I wish you good luck regardless. That is understandable. This is something I'll do for my own sake, not simply because. I'm glad to hear it, Ray. I believe in you. Thank you. I think that's what you say, right? I don't get what it means. Sounds nice of you. <laughs> Aww. Okay, so there's actually an actual interview there. I was kind of wondering if it was going to be like a series of, um, like dot dot dots again. 
which still would have been funny. Um, go the ace does not have proud ace. Let's fix that. Because there are many things you can say about him, but he's definitely a proud ace. Pretty. Vivian has proud ace. Mari has proud ace. Bao has proud ace. Three. Heron. Hurts. Just. So they're basically checking everyone who, I, who just came back. And that actually means I've aced pretty much all of the um, islets. Or all, all the Evangelion characters. Um, but I can ace. Alright, so let's do Joe the Ace's dialogue. Congratulations on becoming an ace pilot, Joe. I'm sure you worked very hard to get to the point. I don't really like being the center of attention like that. Or whatever. I don't know. That's a shame to hear, but I understand. I ordered a bountiful feast with vacation and everything, too. You say something about a feast? I did, but since you don't seem to be interested, and as I can't eat as an android, I'll just have to throw it... Whoa, whoa, Nine. Let's not get too hasty here. Don't like wasting food. I'll gladly have it. But to be clear... I'm doing this because I'm hungry, and there's not a good-looking food I've never seen before, right? That, that, that's not why I'm having it. Yes, of course, I hear you loud and clear. From what I've gathered about him, Joe seems to have led a rather quiet life since he decided to leave. Lance, as much as you like, Joe, I know there are fewer things more important to you. Alright, that's that line. And that's a pretty good place to wrap up for now. Thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed the show, please like and subscribe. And also consider backing my Patreon. Patreon backers get episodes up to one week early of this show and any future Let's Plays. Also, please consider backing my coffee. Uh, toss me a few bucks. Also helps support the show. And it's not a monthly obligation or anything like that. 